Nice. Heck yeah! <laughs> you don't even have the net out. <laughs> it's a small one. First blood. Not really. If you hold him really far out, he might look 20 inches. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <Cut that. laughs> All right, we're starting with the old faithful jackal rearrange 130 in perch color. Doesn't get more pikey than this. Look at that. Bam. Money right there. Brand new, out of the pack. So I don't have any of my uh, pike stuff with me. A brand new one. Picked up yesterday. Ready to go for some pike. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Destroyed it. <laughs> <laughs> Destroyed it. <laughs> Big one. Nice. Oh, in the head. Beautiful. <laughs> yeah. First one of the day, guys. Little munchkin. Destroyed the rearranged jerk bait, though. Let's take him back. <sighs> See ya. <laughs> that felt so good. He hit it so hard. The water temp is freezing right now. It's 44 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, it's really, really cold. So I think as the sun warms up the water a little bit throughout the day, the bite's going to get a lot, lot better. But it's so cold. <laughs> Look at how he ate that. Oh my gosh. I shoot him in the net? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'll just do it. Look how he ate fire. that. <laughs> Jeez! Hey guys, how are you doing? Hopefully you're having a great day. Um, as you guys can see, we're on the water today. We're pike fishing. The water temps are slowly starting to rise. 44 this morning. It's 45 now, so they're slowly starting to come back up. Um, and as the water temps come up, uh, now the beginning of May and throughout May, uh, the fish are going to get a little more active, a little more shallow. As you guys know, I do a lot of pike fishing in May uh, before bass open up. I've been searching for a 40 incher for the past two years. Last year I broke my PB uh, 38 and a half. Uh, this year I really, really want a 40. So that's what we're that's what we're looking for this this May, this spring, uh, and hopefully we can get that. So yeah, we're going to be jumping around a couple bays today, uh, trying to find some some grass. Uh, they seem to be kind of on the edge of the grass. And I think as the water warms up, they'll start moving a little bit more shallow. So that's kind of the game plan for today. And uh, yeah, hopefully a couple of big ones. I know. Last, there you go. <laughs> Come oh, here. He's fighting. That's a good fish. Come here. Nice. <laughs> Moving up slowly. Oh. There you go, guys. A little bit bigger. Still not the size we're looking for. But again, on that jerk bait. Ah, go, buddy. Get bigger. They are slowly getting bigger. I had. Ooh, I had a. Uh, a bigger one, probably like low to mid 30s, following me on the jerk bait, and I had another one, probably low 30s, following me on the uh, glide bait. So, water temps are coming, are going up, and the bigger fish are coming out. Yeah, it took about a pause. Jeez, hello. <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah. Easy on hook him. Hello. Hello. Hello, sir. Oh. Uh, that is not cool. <laughs> Damn. Okay. We don't like that. We don't like that. Cool, cool. Little one. Now we gotta try to get my, my jerk bait out of there. Holy, that's crazy. It's all, it's all good until they start rolling and then, and then this happens. Jeez. 
Jeez. Yeah. No. Ah. I think it's weeds. Oh no, it's moving. Okay. <laughs> I can't tell. I think I'm in the weeds. Oh, that's the biggest one of the day. Yeah. That's the biggest one of the day. That's the biggest one of the day. <laughs> That's the biggest one of the day, guys. Might go 30. Maybe. You gotta break up your board. I know. <laughs> trying to get me back into the weeds. Oh, dude, that's a good one. Oh, yeah! <laughs> biggest one of the day, guys! Heck yeah! On that perch re-range again. Maybe you just gotta stay on this uh, On this weed this edge here, edge, right yeah. here, yeah. I have like no hooks left on my back treble. Fall like crazy. Ugh. I'd say low 30s. I think so. Let's check let's check on the board. This board only goes up to 30. We don't have my pike board here. What we got. Yeah, <laughs> look at this, he takes up the whole board. Right there, all the way down, 31 inches long. 31 inches long right there, biggest one of the day. All right, buddy, you put up a good fight. Time for you to get back down there. Look at that. He's a lot bigger than the other ones, eh? You can tell his proportions are different and everything. Not a snake, he's a proper pike. There you go. See ya! <laughs> awesome. On that, on that weed edge, right when I got past the reed edge, weed edge, he came and ate it and brought me right back into the weeds. Awesome. <laughs> Look at his back hook, guys. Missing a whole treble. Other one straightened right out. <laughs> That's that uh, re-range that I unpacked this morning. One of my favorite baits to throw for pike. The one, this is the 130 size in a perch color. I like the perch, I like the opaque white colors. Um, pretty much my two go-tos. Early, early pike season when the waters are this cold. All right guys, so since that pike destroyed my back hook, I did a little mod, it's probably gonna benefit me in the end. Um, I took the middle hook and I put it in the back, just kind of replaced it. So now I only have two hooks instead of three, so it's going to be a lot easier to deal with the pike uh, once we do catch them. And I don't think it's going to affect the hook ever show much anyways, because they usually have the back hook um, or have it T-boned. So yeah, we're going to try that. Might start throwing the glide bait around a little bit as well as it starts to warm up. Try to get on a big bait bite, but that's like... Like, low 30s is like a good size pike for, for this area, so I'm really happy with that. Beats the, beats the snakes we've been catching. Hello, Sir Pike. Nice. Nicely done. They smashed that jerk bait. Oh, yeah. On the pause, too, the water's still so cold. They see it, they nose it, and go... We like that. <laughs> There you go, guys. Another little one on the jerk bait. Absolutely hammered it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good one. 
<laughs> Dude, he destroyed it. On the shad little, he destroyed it. So that fish, I actually saw that fish hit. I twitched it one more time, actually smashed it. Um, fought me, got leverage, and popped off. It was a smaller fish. Yeah, we got a teeth marks right there. You guys can see that. He T-boned it. <laughs> I would have been cool to get him in, but I saw my knot slip a little bit, so I just retied right there. That's the leader that I run on my glide base. And we're gonna see if we can get a fat pike on the glide bait. Aaron's got one on the shine glide. <laughs> Right there. Good old shine glide. Yeah? Good one? Another one right there. Glide bait bite! <laughs> Oh, the net. Oh uh, no. Okay. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Thank you. Look at that. <laughs> Destroyed the shot a little. <laughs> Sweet. Back he goes. Man, nothing like a glide bait bite. <laughs> We're both getting on them on the glide bait now. So much fun. All right, guys, that is a wrap for our day. Uh, managed a ton of pike today. Uh, most of them were small, snake sized. Uh, one bigger one, the biggest one was 31 inches long. Um, but other than that, just a lot of numbers, which you know, you can't complain. We start off the morning with a jerk bait since the water temps are so low. Uh, that kind of carried on throughout the day. Got a couple of uh, glide fish in there as well, but mostly just jerk baits and glide baits. Um, a lot of the fish hit on the pause or on the first jerk after a pause. Uh, had a lot of follows. I kind of got scared at the boat, but uh, saw a lot of fish today, hooked a lot of fish today, and it felt absolutely amazing. This guy did the damage for me. So you guys can see that rearrange that I opened up this morning. Threw some glide baits around as well. Aaron also threw a jerk bait, just more in a white color. Um, and he caught most of his fish on the jerk bait as well. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm gonna leave links down below to the bait, uh, to the rod, reel, and line down below in the description. You guys can go have a look for what I use as my jerk bait setup for pike. It was fun, and I'll see you guys in the next one.